everyone. Welcome to the launching and christening of the Bravante 9, the, the fifth of five 4,500 deadweight ton state-of-the-art platform supply vessels that we here at Eastern are building for our good friends from Rio de Janeiro Bravante. Today is also another red letter day. Not only are we launching the Bravante 9, but the Bravante 8, vessel number four, you can, you can see her superstructure over at the outfitting dock. She's ready for delivery, on schedule, and on budget. We are pleased to be honored with the president of Bravante, Mr. Nuno Neves. Many of you have met him before. We have with us, we're fortunate enough to have with us uh, Chip Chanikin, who's the Maritime Administrator of the U.S. Maritime Administration. We have also Father Roy from St. John's Church, who will bless this vessel. And what you're all waiting for is we have Roberta Rodriguez, General Counsel for Bravante, who will also multitask and break and christen the vessel. As you all know, we launched a schooner, a historic schooner, last Saturday, and that was that was an, a, a no event that was thankfully non-eventful. This this launch will be equally non-eventful. However, it'll be more exciting. As you know, as you know she'll be a si side launched with a big splash. Nunu. Thank you, Brian. A few words. Ladies and gentlemen, today is a very important moment for, uh, for us in Bravant. First, because of the great job that you guys have done here. Congratulations and thank you. Second, because it's the fifth vessel launched here by you. We are excited to have her in Brazil doing and working for our clients. We have already three of these boats there and thanks God they are working for our clients. Third, Brian, thank you very much for this partnership. I am very thank you of, you, of uh, this. Congratulations for you, your team, and your company. Chip Janikin for Marad, thank you for supporting and financing this project. We are thanks for that. Father, thank you for christening this boat. And Roberta, you deserve it, christen the boat. Thank you. Thank you, Nunu. Chip. Thank you, Brian. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for the warm welcome. Uh, I've realized I'm one of the few guys in a jacket, so I'm actually very warm, but the hospitality has been even warmer uh, throughout the day. It is both a privilege uh, and a pleasure to be with you today for the launching of the Bravante 9. This vessel actually has a different meaning for each of us, depending on what part of the maritime industry you represent. For Eastern shipbuilding, it's a milestone, and it's a textbook example of how the public and the private partnership is supposed to work. For, Baldoni, or for, for Baldini, it is a competitively priced, well-made vessels to serve in the offshore industry. And for the Maritime Administration, who over the last six years had the opportunity to award two small shipyard grants to Eastern Shipbuilding, totaling $3.4 million, it represents a real return on investment for the U.S. taxpayer. A little earlier this afternoon, I had an opportunity, Brian took me over to Allenton and I got an opportunity to see where the small shipyard grant went. They went into a panel line, and boy, did we get a bang for our buck. 
There's about 1,000 people working over there, and I learned today that there's about 28 folks that are actually working actively every day in two shifts on the panel line. Those two small shipyard grants help create the efficiencies and the economic competitiveness needed to build the Bravante vessels for Baldini. It created hundreds of new good-paying jobs in Panama City, jobs that you can support a family on, and there are thousands of indirect and induced regional and supply chain jobs that support the shipbuilding and the repairing industry here in the Panhandle and also throughout Florida and on the East Coast. And just as importantly, it showed the world that American shipbuilding can and will compete on the international stage. And I think that is the significant accomplishment that we're representing here today with the launch of the fifth vessel. It is this public-private partnership, and if this is not a cost-effective investment in the American economy, I haven't seen one, and I don't know what one is. We will continue in the Maritime Administration to look for other opportunities to give the U.S. flag fleet and the maritime industry production-building initiatives the nudge that they need to make sure that we can forge ahead. Since 2009, we've awarded more than 160 small shipyard grants, totaling $150 million to shipyards around the country. And we've also guaranteed $1.6 billion, and that's, that's B, the, the billion, in Title XI loan guarantees for ship and shipyard projects. That's exactly the financing we were talking about when they said that we helped fund this project. Well, in actuality, we're just guaranteeing. The funding was actually pro procured by Baldini. All we're doing is providing a government guarantee. But there is, based on the fact that they're all chartered and they're all working, it looks like the loan's going to be paid off in plenty of time, so we're pretty excited about that, too. As a final word, I'd like to thank the Eastern Shipbuilding, the skilled workers, its dynamic management who made this happen. You've shown the world that there is indeed a bright future for American shipbuilding. And it gives me great pride to congratulate you and to know that your work will continue. Uh, Brian, thank you very much. This is a, certainly a great day. Thank you very much, Chip. Father. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. Blessed be the name of God now and forever. God of boundless love, at the beginning of creation, your spirit hovered over the deeps. You called forth your every creature and the seas teemed with life. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, you have given us a rich harvest of salvation. Bless this ship, its equipment, and all who will use it. Protect them from the dangers of wind and rain and all the perils of the deep. May Christ, who calmed the storm and filled the nets of his disciples, bring all on this ship safe to the harbor of light and peace. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you, Father. Okay, okay Roberta. Okay, let's now. do it. Okay. Uh, that God, may God uh, protect this vessel and all her crew. Many contracts, and she stays in operation pretty much every time. And God bless this vessel. God bless Bravante 9. Woo! <laughs>